I'm finding the access to higher education diploma in medicine really, really interesting so far, especially because it's so tailored for um, people specifically wanting to go study undergraduate medicine. And so you only study the topics that are really relevant to continuing your education. For example, I've done topics on learning how to break bad news and also topics on um, the maths you need for medicine, such as working out how much medication to give patients. Another aspect I really like about the diploma is how you get graded e after each module and you don't have to take one big exam at the end of the entire course. I think this is really useful as I can see what grades I'm achieving throughout the course and get a good idea of how I'm doing academically. I'm really enjoying learning with the Distance Learning Centre. As the name suggests, it's completely online, but it doesn't feel like I'm learning alone. I have my own tutor and I can call them and have tutorials over email also whenever I like. It's really good because it's really, really flexible and works around my own time and what time I have for in the week to study. I actually much prefer it than being in a college setting in a class with lots of other people as I get one-on-one -on -one tutorials with my tutor and I find this way more beneficial than being in a bigger class. A great thing about studying online is being able to manage my own time and when I want to um, study. So, I've been able to have a job as well as studying, which is something that would have been a lot more difficult if I'd be having to go in for regular lessons at a college. I don't have any actual scheduled classes or lessons, but I can schedule in phone calls with my tutor whenever I want, so I can get that one-on-one -on -one support whenever I want, which is actually a lot more beneficial than being in a class with 20 or 30 or people. You need to definitely put in a lot of time to research the process. Um, this is kind of what I, I think I spent actually most of my time doing. My application itself took probably only about two weeks. I didn't take too long over my personal statement, but I very much concentrated on it completely during those two weeks. I got a lot of people's advice. Um, I have one family member who's also at um, medical school, so I asked him to read over my personal statement because he'd been through the same process as well. And also just getting other family members to look through it and friends just for um, grammar mistakes. After I managed to get my personal statement down, I looked at which universities I was gonna send my application to. You can basically choose the um, selection process that the university does based on your strengths. So if you have really, really good um, grades under your belt, or predicted grades, you should choose um, universities that select people based on their grades. Um, and different universities put different weightings on different parts of the application. So for me, I did it on the UCAT school. So the way that St George's did it was they sent me a PDF of questions. I had two hours to record my answers to them and then another hour at the end to upload them. And they kind of were a bit generous in time so luckily they gave me kind of enough time for, I think it was meant to be technical errors but they gave me enough time to like record my first question a handful of times so I kind of got used to speaking to a camera and speaking to myself. I also got to um, have a quick look over the questions before I started which was actually I think a massive was that as a massive benefit to me because you kind of got to plan what you were saying beforehand. Yeah the interview process is quite daunting at first but I think 
just answering all of the questions truthfully and not what you think they want to hear is very important but also for some questions there definitely is a bit of a prescribed formula for a right answer and there's definitely wrong things you can say but on mine a lot of questions were um, quite personal I, like such as what I liked about the university and why I wanted to study medicine.